And our last story tonight comes from Scotland, where Kingasi Kong is on the loose. Sounds like an intimidating name. But that is no drug lord or murderer. It's a monkey. He escaped from a zoo on the Scottish Highlands four days ago. And since then, he has tasted sweet freedom, stolen nuts from nearby bird feeders and given zookeepers a good runabout. The desperate seekers have now set up a monkey hotline, believe it or not, and they've deployed thermal zones, thermal drones rather. It sounds bizarre, but finding Kong has been no monkey business. Our next report tells you why. Picture someone escaping from a cage. Troops are chasing after him, but the escapee sees only independence and he runs towards it. Nothing will work on him. No one can bring him back into the shackles. Not bananas, not whistles, and not even thermal drones. Believe it or not, the escapee in this case is a monkey, a Japanese macaque to be specific, nicknamed Kingasi Kong. Now, that nickname exudes some main character energy, and for good reason, the monkey has an anti-hero vibe going for him. He was the resident of a Scottish zoo, the Highland Wildlife Park near Kingasee on the Scottish Highlands. But four days ago, he escaped from the zoo, apparently due to high tensions with other primates. Maybe Kong was antisocial. Or maybe he was stuck in a real-life monkey version of Mean Girls. Either way, it must not have been a barrel of monkeys. Because Kong has been on the run ever since. Initially, Kong was spotted some 300 metres away from the zoo. He was seen picking nuts from neighbours' bird feeders. Ah, the sweet taste of freedom, bird food. Zookeepers hoped the missing macaque would return of his own volition, but that wasn't to be. Kong gave the zookeepers quite a runabout. They relied on basic lures, like whistling at him to get his attention, though that may not have gone too well. Who knows, maybe even monkeys are woke too. We were hoping that in getting it close enough it would be able to hear the whistle and because of all our training they've got that strong association with the whistle and they would know it would know that it's feeding time and so that it would potentially hop back over and join its troop. Zookeepers tried using food as well. Kong didn't pay any heed and they can't use an anaesthetic dart on him. See what he does. He's not in the best position for darting. He's under some really thick heavy cover. Kong has gone much farther over time. He's moving under dense tree cover. His farthest sighting has been four kilometres away. Now the zookeepers have deployed some big guns in the metaphorical sense. They are using thermal drones. Yes, thermal drones all to track a monkey. The public has been warned to stay safe. There is even a dedicated monkey hotline to track him. The zookeepers, much like Drake, certainly hope that the hotline blings. After all, catching Kong has been no monkey business.